So I think it's wise here to to just cut the releases. Different places, different worlds, nothing left, just empty words. Welcome to the vlog. Yes, I'm freezing. Yes, I still feel like shit. I got a cold. So today, definitely no studio construction. No music production. So this right here is the entire Logic project. Vocal recording. This time is something real. No IKEA bullshit. All of this <laughs> somehow has to fit in there. I promised Vanessa, my mom, my dad and a couple of other people to stay today at home and do nothing. And as you might be able to see, that's really hard for me sitting here taking care of some business stuff, answering some emails, just the really necessary stuff. I'm really happy that we got the first four people in October that actually want to rent the studio. That really makes me happy because I didn't really know if people will be interested in that because most people have a home studio and if they would actually be willing to pay just a tiny bit to be able to, to record in a local booth and have big speakers to actually hear what they were doing. It seems to work, so really, really happy about that. Because as you might be able to imagine, like doing the step from that small, tiny studio just for me to a huge studio for, I mean, there's enough room for it, like 20 people working there um, every single day from nine to five. Getting there is still a long journey. At least I now got the possibility, nothing, um, at least location-wise, will stop me for the next 10 years, probably. But all of this progress, of course, comes comes with the price. Um, the past two, three months, I didn't have any time for, for anything, just barely trying to keep the label alive, the vlog alive, and in between constructing everything, really felt like, like three, four jobs at the same time. First month I was dealing with it quite good. The second month it started to really annoy me and now in the third I, I really just can't take it anymore. I'm so sick of it. So today I got a little bit of time to think and reflect and, and also watch some of my older vlogs. And you know, when I'm watching one of my vlogs, I'm immediately reminded of all of the things that didn't make it into the vlog, the things that happened in between, because you just see like 10 minutes out of my day and I can or could construct it in any way I wanted to. I, I try to keep it positive, I try to keep it informative and, and maybe a little bit um, fun, just, just for you to enjoy to watch it. Sometimes this works, sometimes I fail. It, it's really not up to me, it's more up to, to my day basically, because I'm filming every day, so, so I, I can't choose if the day just sucks. I need to come up with something to make it not suck. What I actually really enjoy, because it's challenging you to, to create something under pressure, which I usually actually work the best, but the past months was maybe a little bit too much pressure. So I first of all decided to stop all music production for this entire year, so I won't be releasing any new singles. I haven't shared it on camera, but I started working on the two songs with Frankie and the two songs with Julia, and um, like in between, which was really a mess. If you start producing music, you should at least have like four hours to concentrate on making music and not like working 15 minutes and then someone knocking, asking you something or an email arriving or something needs to be constructed. So I think it's wise here to, to just cut the releases. My own music, there won't be a, a single release anymore for, for this entire year. I will get back to producing music once the studio is all finished. This should be by the end of October, yeah, kind of being done to the opening. I won't be able to finish everything to the opening, but like most of the stuff, the, the important stuff, the functions will be there and available. Studio B is already running. Studio A is still like half a mess. Kitchen is a huge mess, but I will finish it before the opening 100% even if I have to stay 24 hours in the studio. And then, yes, hopefully um, in November, December, the latest get back to fully producing music, just focusing on that, sharing with you my, my working process on these kind of songs, and then being ready to release new music in February, probably. I think that's the right call. I actually always aim for having at least like six to eight releases per year. This year it just won't, won't be possible, but I'm sure like, sacrificing two or three releases this year and having this new studio available will help me to make even more in the future so it's just like a temporary sacrifice for having a better future and this idea like sacrificing now for later is like really rooted in my dna i always did that every single time i accomplished something achieved something i i never stopped and just 
kept on doing the same and the same and the same all over again and just this way probably making more money and having more free available time that's always the second something starts working I start the next one just not to get bored but I don't know that's maybe just just something that is kind of wrong with me I don't know I, I just love starting new things and and developing them anyways guys i i think that's it for the vlog today there is nothing exciting i could share with you there are some of the releases um scheduled for for the accents label there are four more releases coming out this year and then mid-december to february there's also a break for the accents label usually around the christmas time and january it doesn't make a whole lot of sense to release any music because everyone is busy with christmas and then like getting sober again from new year which will also help me to focus on, on making my own new songs because I think next year should be the year where I'm proceeding the most like the past years were all about building things up and I think now it's time to to how do you say um and to harvest all of the stuff that I've been you know what I mean I mean it's, it's about time I've been holding back on, on a couple of opportunities and things that I could have done that would have made everything easier but I'm a control freak I don't want to do certain things especially like with companies and and um, that kind of stuff I, I will also not start it next year actually never I, I want to be able to just do whatever I want on my channel but for all of the music related things I will just proceed and do the things that all normal musicians just do I think it's now about time so gigs and some some promotional stuff um, radio show and a whole lot of other stuff that is still secret and, and planning but anyways I think that's really it for today I need to get back to bed and just, I don't know, maybe sleep, catch up on sleep, because like not sleeping is definitely my biggest, biggest problem. Anyways, thanks a lot for watching. Sorry for not having like a complete fun vlog as usually, but we'll get back to that as soon as possible. Sign out.